Beatles, Joe Master Lee. And Lulu. All right, counting down to American Idol finale. And I'm going to make some bold predictions today. What? All right, we're going to use real data to mm -hmm. suss out who's going to win and the ranking two, three, four, five. All right. Wow. Okay. I can't wait for your prediction. A little bit of cautionary tale here. The last couple of times we've done this for other talent shows, uh, I was wrong on the winner, but I'm still doing it. Why? I think it's an interesting exercise because each time we do, we get better at it, right? And the reason why uh, we were off, which I can admit, you know, data that we see does not actually reflect how people will vote. And there's all sorts of different factors that ultimately culminate in why someone would win. And with American Idol, there's a couple of unique things about it too that actually can really skew the data. Two of them being that this year they've got the 24 hour, you got to vote now type of thing, mm -hmm. in which case right. time zones have a huge effect if you don't get in. Right. And then second, American Idol leans heavily on text message voting. Mm. Right. And we don't have data on that. What we do have is data that's represented on what people do online. And for whatever reason, American Idol still has not actively embraced the online community. Right. Doesn't make it easy for reactors to react to the shows and spread the word. Right. And they don't post up the entire show. In fact, they barely post up most of the clips mm -hmm. on their show every single week. And they do this because so much of their business is still catering to the TV audience, right? The big advertisers, all the money they can make from text messaging. So it's heavily skewed towards that. And that's why some of these predictions I'm making here are going to be a little bit off. But I'm doing this because I also want to make sure that we absolutely have a favorite here. Mm -hmm. All right. I need to remind folks that if you really want your favorite to win, you have to vote because I see some yellow flags for EM Tongi. It could mean that all oh, if y'all don't vote, could be problems. Could be problems. So let's check this out, y'all. All right. Now, before we even get into the top five, all right, I'm going to share with you the method that I'm using to make these kind of calculations. All right the data sources. Now, if you look at all this data, it becomes pretty evident who we think is going away. Like Ian Tongi seems like a crowd favorite, but it's actually a lot harder to predict two, three, four, and five, but we're gonna do it right now. All right? <laughs> all right, so fifth place, y'all. Ready? Da -da -dang. So fifth place, honestly, this one's easy because the data clearly hints that he's far removed from the other four singers, and that's Zach. Zachary likely should have been voted off in the last round because he's kind of at that tier level. He's just not holding up. He's kind of flattened out as a uh, in terms of interest. So, yeah. Four. Now, number four gets a little tricky. Why is that? Because if you were looking at overall level of interest, Megan probably would have been a number four choice here, right? She's not talked about as much compared to, let's say, Colin here, or even Wei Yan Yi. But what I've noticed with Megan is that she's been building up momentum in the last couple of weeks mm -hmm. to the point where she's actually done better than the other performers when it comes to Google Trends, right? Uh. And Google Trends measures how many people search, mm -hmm. right? Those who are going out of the way to look for this type of content. That speaks a lot because people are going like, oh my God, what is this? I got to go see what else she's doing here. Mm. So if you were just looking at pure interest and level of views, would have been fourth, except that I think in this particular case, I think Colin would be fourth now because of it. Colin has been really, really strong for the last number of months, right? Easily in the top, top five, sometimes in the top two or three even. Right. But in the last two performances, the interest has flattened out for him, has not sustained. Mm. And I don't know why, but I think there's an interesting challenge that he faces here. Mm. So I'm gonna make a bold prediction that Megan is actually gonna beat Colin for third place here. Got it, got it, all right. All right, so that brings up to the top two, all right? and. Just flat out, right at the beginning here, I'm going to say that EM is by far and large way ahead of Wei Ani. Mm. Right? Wei Ani has become this dominant singer, amazing voice when she sings, super meek when she speaks, mm -hmm. but her fan base has been there. But if you were just to look at the data, she's always been about 20 to 30% off in terms of Google trend interest. And then second, when it comes to the number of views that she gets on YouTube and even in our videos, oftentimes off by half. It is a big predictor here. Now, is there a chance where she could catch up? And this is where we have to take a look at a number of other interesting pieces of data here. All right, one is she gets the benefit of the time zone difference, all right? EM, again, is based on Hawaii. so. 
there's a potential scenario that just because there are a lot of people who are interested in him, most of them are based in Hawaii. They're not going to be on time for voting. Exactly. In fact, when you check Google Trends, the majority of people searching are based in Hawaii. Hawaii. Now, if you look at Wei Aini, interestingly enough, actually a lot of the people are searching also from Hawaii too. And I think that's because Ian Tongi fans are checking out the competition. But she has a lot of interest in a lot of other states, including New Hampshire, New Jersey, Mississippi, South Dakota. Um, Way outclasses Tongi in terms of level of interest there. Come on. That means don't go to bed or get up. Hella early. I don't know what. <laughs> you got to vote early today. In fact, by the time we put out this video, you know, like be prepared already, like start voting kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? God, it's a battle. I did take a look at Wei Annie and EM's demographic base. And interestingly enough, they're actually very, very similar. So they're both majority men, about 65% men, and about the age range of like 35 years old to 65 years old. Mm. Right Now, I think there is one difference here that could have an interesting effect, although I don't know if it's more positive or negative. It is that Ian Tongi, right, he has actually a number of fans who go down to 18 years old, which is pretty unusual for TV. Now, the other thing, too, right, and I was trying to take a look at here is whether or not Wei Annie has some sort of other advantage was whether or not most of her fans were going to be based in the U.S. or not. Mm. Because this had a huge effect on two other contestants that I thought would go a lot further, mm. but they got eliminated early. One was Nusa, which we reacted to, and also yes. Tyson, the Filipino singing sensation as well. Both of them were consistent getting a lot more views online, which made you go, of course they're going to do well. Boom, got eliminated early. And that's because if you take a look at the data, we have that data in our videos, you could see a lot of the viewers came from their home country. Tyson had a lot of fans from the Philippines that can't vote, and Nusa had a lot of fans from home country of Georgia who couldn't vote. So that's one thing that about this kind of data. You have to factor in whether or not that segment of audience can vote. Mm, it's not fair. And that's why you have to look at all this data together, mm. right? Because so far I've been mentioning a lot of Google Trends, but if you were to take a look at Google Trends for, let's say, Oliver Steele, you would not think that he would have gotten voted off last week because mm. he was easily ranked top two, top three mm. based off that data. But again... That's why you have to take a look at all this and factor in. It's maybe perhaps closer to like weather prediction, right? It's not 100% because it's a bit like that, looking at a lot of different factors here. So like what could EM do here that could result in him not winning? Mm. Because there are a couple of yellow flags here that I picked up on, right? One is I noticed in the trend in this last week, he has started flattening out. Normally in the past, he had been going through these massive spikes almost every other week. And there were three performances that he had that dramatically increased the trajectory of interest in him. First off, of course, was his first audition performance way back in February, right? But since then, starting in April, when things really started to pick up, April 11th, we saw a huge spike for him. April 24th, another massive spike, about a 30 to 40% spike. And even from there, another 30, 40 to 50% spike on May 2nd. And unfortunately, last week, we started to see that dip, Mm. all right? So what were these three spikes based off of? I have to say that's probably the song choice. Song choice, Exactly. Well, that was his Hawaiian version of Stuck On You, which was a very popular song in Hawaii. That gave him a massive push. Probably didn't hurt that it was a Lionel Richie song either, with Lionel Richie as a judge. Good move here. That was great. Yeah, awesome was great. move. And the last time he saw a big spike, again, another song that was made popular in Hawaii with a, with a Hawaiian version, What a Wonderful World. Mm-hmm. So there might be a trend here, right? The last two songs that gave him that huge lift, there was something about a Hawaiian flavor that he added to it that made a huge difference. And if you take a look at all three performances, I think there's a soulfulness to those songs too that helped him connect with people. Mm-hmm. If he stays down that track, I think he has a good shot. Right, right. Oh, my God. Of all of Ian Tongi fans reminding people to vote, and yes, that is what ultimately comes down to. Make sure you vote. This is it, y'all. Don't don't, don't think sleep. that just because <laughs> that he's a front runner, he's going to win for sure. Data showing here. Yeah. Some of y'all getting a little lax. And that could cost him. Oh, my God. All right, good luck, I'm EM. so nervous. Good luck, everybody. But go, go, EM. <laughs> I hope he's going to pick the right song.